the Spanish fleet surged out of the harbor. The cruiser Maria Teresa, with Severa aboard, was first in line with a forward gun blazing. By now, the Sunday morning air was filled with smoke as the Maria Teresa traded gunfire with the American vessels. The cruiser ran westward, drawing most of the American fire, allowing the Vizcaya at Cristobal Colon to slip out of the harbor. They too bolted for the west. Shells rained down on the Maria Teresa. As the American gunners found their range, fires began to break out and ammunition began to explode. At least 29 shells plunged into the cruiser. And in less than an hour and 10 kilometers from the harbor, the burning Maria Teresa ran aground and the order was given to abandon ship. The Spanish breakout caught the American fleet by surprise. Their boilers were cold and it would take time to get up ahead of steam. Only the American ship Oregon was in position to pursue the escaping enemy. This fact had unfortunate consequences for the fourth Spanish ship in line. The Oquendo emerged from the harbor only to become the next victim. All opened up on her with a hail of gunfire. The Oquendo's bleeding captain ordered the cruiser run aground. The shell-ravaged cruiser struck the shore and promptly broke in two. As the cruiser Oquendo lay burning along the shore, the American fleet made short work of the two Spanish destroyers, the Pluton and the Fuel. In rapid succession, both were annihilated by the American shellfire. The battle had been raging for just over an hour, and only two of Severa's fleet were still afloat, the Cristobal Colon and the Vizcaya. The cruiser Brooklyn and the battleship Oregon, followed by the Indiana, Iowa, and Texas, concentrated on the closest enemy vessel, the cruiser Vizcaya. As the Brooklyn outran her, the Oregon closed the distance to under 3,000 meters, and between them, they slammed the Spanish ship with shell after shell. At last, there was a tremendous explosion as a shell crashed into Vizcaya's bow. Burning fiercely and rent with explosions, she headed for shore. She was the fifth ship to be sunk. The Cristobal Colon was the last ship afloat and was being furiously pursued by the American fleet. She was the newest of Spain's vessels, so new in fact, that she had not yet had her main armament installed before being called to war. She had burned through her top grade coal, leaving her only with inferior local coal, which cut her speed. The battleship Oregon overtook her, and she veered along the shoreline. Oregon fired a 33 centimeter shell, which landed in front of her, and then another, which landed just shy of the stern. Realizing there was no hope, the commander of the Colon hauled down her colors opened her sea valves and ran the ship aground. The sheer volume of U.S. fleet's firepower proved enough to completely destroy the pride of Spain's navy. The Battle of Santiago was over.